Alright, in this video we're going to talk about the comparison test for series. And the comparison test for series is basically two different, two different things that you can use. The first one says the following. So again, we're trying to figure out for a particular series, does that particular series converge or diverge? Well, the first one, what's called the direct comparison theorem, is you basically show that each term in this series is smaller than a, another series and the idea is if this series with the b sub n converge then the original series with the a sub n's also converge so intuitively <clears throat> if the series with the b sub n's converge somehow to me I, I think well somehow it's small you're adding up a bunch of small things and this shows, well, the a sub n's are smaller than that. So if this one converges, so does the original one. Likewise, on the opposite end, if you can show that the a sub n's are bigger than the b sub n's for all n, and the b sub n's diverge, well then the original series diverges too. The problem you can run into, um, maybe we show that the a sub n's are smaller than the b sub n's, if the b sub n's diverge, well, we don't really know anything. So the b sub n, th that series is big, this one is smaller than that. Well, does it converge? It could still diverge. Anything could happen. So you have to be careful. It has to be smaller than something that converges or bigger than something that diverges. And this is what's known as the direct comparison um, test. <clears throat> Probably not my favorite one. I don't use it that often. Sometimes it's relatively straightforward. Sometimes not so much. The other one is what's called the direct comparison test. And this one's a good one, I think. It's pretty straightforward. So basically you have some a sub n's. You're going to pick another series and you're going to take the limit of the a sub n's and the b sub n's. So the limits of the terms as n goes to infinity. It says if you get a positive finite number, then the both of the series do the same thing. So either they both converge or they both diverge. So the idea is you're going to start with a, an original series. You're going to want to pick out a series that you know either does converge or does diverge, and then take the limit of that. And then you'll know, well, the original series must converge or must diverge if you get this finite number out couple useful things to remember and you'll use them very often when you use this limit comparison test remember if you have a geometric series so you have a number basically raised to a variable power it says that's going to converge if the power on the inside if the absolute value of that is less than one the other thing you'll want to remember are these p series examples and it says a p series is going to converge if this power of p is greater than one. So a lot of times you'll use either the direct comparison test or the limit comparison test with either a geometric series or one of these p-series. So take a look at one of the other videos and I'll do a bunch of these examples.